when people ask me, ah, how much of you is there in the character? And I also uh, answer that uh, a lot of my hopes are there. She's the woman I hope to become. Hello, I'm Julia Fidel. I'm the head of Berlinale series. And today I'm very pleased to speak to the creator of Last Days of Gilda from Brazil. It's Gustavo Pizzi and his lead actress and co-writer of the series, Karin Teles. Welcome, uh, Gustavo and uh, Karin. I'm really pleased that the two of you are here uh, with me and we can talk about Gilda because, of course, there are many, many questions about this wonderful series uh, that we have. And uh, so just to start and to give our uh, the people who are watching this an idea of what we are actually talking about, um, can you give us um, in two, three sentences um, an idea of what the series is about? Well, I think it's a story of a woman uh, that lives, uh, she lives really in a really freedom way. Uh, she do, doing everything she, she wants to do and she believes that's right without bothering other people. But the, the neighbors start a persecution against her uh, because of the way that she lives. So it's a kind of story about uh, persecution and also about polarization. And uh, I think that we, we, we are talking about the days we are living right now uh, in a way that people can't understand the other right in front of them. And uh, the, the whole things that we have after that. When you were, um, when you were doing the series, um, what would you say were the strongest challenges that you faced, like artistically, but maybe also um, in the way that, you know, you, it could come together? Yeah, it, we, the, 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 the series is an adaptation from uh, a play uh, from Rodrigo de Huri. So it's a monology uh, and the adaptation from the monology uh, was something that some characters or some situations are only aligned on the play. So uh, we try to keep the atmosphere that Rodrigo bring to, to us with his original text and transform that atmosphere to a script and then after to a cinematic uh, uh, way of looking for that character and that neighborhood also. Our budget were really, really small, and to make that thing, all that thing, happen uh, in a way that you can't see the budget on the screen, but you were looking for the characters and the the, the narrative was a big challenge. A comunidade toda está se ajudando. Uh -huh. A gente quer muito ajudar você. Só não, que... mas eu não preciso de ajuda. Está tudo certo aqui na minha casa. Você pode ajudar a gente. Eu tô ajudando o Cacido, eu vou pagar os maiores pra ele fazer o trabalho no meu muro. Isso vai ajudar. O que que custa? O que que custa um o quê? cartazinho aqui? O que na... custa que eu não acredito nisso? Eu não vou colocar, já falei que não. Mas a gente precisa se proteger aqui. Proteger do quê? Eu proteger. pago o Wallace pra proteger não, a gente. Que Wallace? Que Wallace não? não dá conta de nada. Claro que dá, tá tudo tranquilo com o problema. Tá é tudo tranquilo, cheio de moleque da favela com fuzil. Moleque da favela quer nada com a gente não, meu amor. O que que eles querem ah, com a gente Ah, não quer com a gente? Você não, não vê TV, não? Você não lê jornal, não? Não lê jornal, não faço nada Olha aqui. Gilda, olha só, a gente tá vendo um momento super difícil. A gente precisa se proteger, a gente precisa eleger um candidato para tirar a gente dessa merda de vida que a gente faz. Tá... Meu amor, você pode me dar licença? Eu tenho que terminar de limpar ali. Eu tenho mais entrega para Eu sou tu turrona. turrona. Você é você turrona. Você vem na minha casa ficar me alugando. Você eu sou sempre turrona. foi assim, era um cartazinho. Amorzinho, era beijo. só um cartazinho. Beijo, Cassio. É tem mais do seu jeito. What was your biggest challenge if there was any with um, let's let's say about the, you know, depicting the role? Yeah, there, there were many challenges. Uh, the first one was that um, this screen, the, this play was written uh, a while ago and I've performed it uh, in the theater a, a few times before for, um, uh, changing it into a script. And the, the challenges of the screenwriting were to bring nowadays issues inside the play using the um, the essence of the character and the essence of the story, which is this uh, how freedom 
and how the feminine is something that uh, really bothers people and threatens people. Uh, so it's the, the, the strength and the quality that it's most attacked in the world is uh, the feminine energy, right? In all the senses. In Brazil, for example, violence against LGBTQA plus people is out of control. It's horrible. So I really do feel that the feminine energy is what um, uh, conservative people have problem with. I'm a regular woman. I'm not a, a beauty model in, in terms of how the industry perceives uh, beauty. And that was a very important point for us because we really felt like uh, we don't see that very much. And I was very happy to, to land my body uh, in that way because uh, as a woman, I really do feel that we learn from a very young age that if we're not perfect in, in this way that the, the industry and society tells us that we should be, we are not uh, worthy of love. And Gilda is such a, a loved person. She has a lot of love to give. She receives a lot of love. So it was important that uh, that woman uh, had uh, a normal body. In the exposition of all of the other characters too, because I think that the male characters should be uh, should have the same exposition than the female characters. So you you use it to see uh, a lot of uh, mostly women, uh, naked women in films, and not men naked in in, in films. So. I said, no, let's change that. Here, the men will be, will be mostly more exposed uh, than, than women. I, I see very much what you, uh, what you mean by this and, uh, and also using um, bodies uh, to, to talk about politics, um, making this, um, you know, making the very private way of how people are living a political. Uh, I find that very, yeah, the, you can see that uh, that this was a, an idea in the series. So in what way would you say the series is also a political statement? When we are facing this polarization, as we said before, uh, the right wing and the left wing, and the kind of polarization we are facing mostly in Brazil that we can say better is that it's good, it's not good for no one side, you know, it's good for another kind of people that are not fighting this fight. So I think that uh, the last days of Gilda uh, tried to, to bring a discussion about how to deal uh, with this kind of thing. And also, uh, uh, the well, I think that's it, yes. <laughs> I, th I think it's pretty much a political uh, statement because everyone who was involved was very uh, worried and very, I mean, Brazil was discussing politics like never before. Uh, it was everywhere in all the houses. And um, it was really important to us, as Gustavo said, to find the proposition of a different way to tackle problems. I think it's a very beautiful uh, suggestion that the, the series uh, somehow gives in the sense of how to deal with uh, powerful forces that are trying to oppress us in, in order to control us and div by dividing us. The more people are divided, the less, po the less power they have. So, so far, 
we've been repeating ourselves. I mean, history repeats ourself, itself all the time, and it's not working. <laughs> so we have to find ways of uh, trying new things, right? I think the world is a much better place now than it was, say, 30, 40 years ago. But still, we have a lot of issues to, to tackle in order to evolve and really become a more fair place for everyone, for everyone to live. We have to learn how to live with our differences in order to find some sort of peace, right? Yeah, and become a more yeah. egalitarian society uh, for it. Yeah, um, you were talking about the um, the theater play and that you then decided to adapt uh, into uh, the series. And um, for that, of course, there are all these uh, different elements that then come together. So when you talk about the um, certain aesthetic that you were uh, thinking about or that you were envisioning for the series, um, who were your strongest collaborators? Or what was your strongest uh, your strongest allies in making this series? For a, a project like this, uh, the first person that came on board was Karini. She was she used it to make the play. Uh, she she I saw the the, the play being uh, when it was being shown, and uh, it was really strong. After that, uh, we started to, to to write the script, but in something like 10 years ago. And when we finally were able to, to make the series, uh, a lot of people that use it to, to work with me on other projects, they came on board, like uh, Pedro Feinstein, the cinematographer, or Gina Salen-Levy, the, the, the art director, or Gianna Last, uh, the costume designer. It's a lot of people involved and it's amazing to have so, so great collaborators. watched it and when uh, we with the committee watched it uh, we were all talking about the very cinematic quality of it and of course a lot of series have cinematic quality when and how did you decide that you want this to be a mini series in four episodes a, a small narrative four ex episodes for example uh, you can tell the story in a different way than a film uh, it's not the same. It looks like the way that we're thinking about the aesthetic, the whole thing that involves, it's about cinema, but not for the, the way that you're telling that story. It was brief, previously, 10 years ago, we start thinking about making a, a film. But after a lot of years, uh, I find how to, to make a, a series. And I said, okay, I think that it fits. So Karine came when we talk a lot about the, the script. Uh, I think that it's a, it's a really interesting place that a lot of creators are understanding and the, the, the companies that are making those, uh, those products and those uh, stories and those uh, uh, small series or limited series, uh, people are understanding, are understanding that well, we can do, it's different from cinema uh, and it's different from a, a really long narrative from, I don't know, five seasons that I love that, those two. But uh, I think that uh, it's a really, uh, it's a special place that we are starting to understand what we can create around that. 
Um, coming back to the to the role of these uh, of this uh, essential woman and also the women around her, really, like you uh, said before, it's it is a kind of woman that you rarely see on television, and you feel her. And I wanted to ask, what was your both both of you? What was your main inspiration for this woman? I think it's a combination of multiple things, uh, but in my building of the character, uh, I think Gilda is uh, an homage to uh, a lot of women uh, I have in my life surrounding me, um, but also it's pretty much um, an ideal, you know, she's, she's the woman I hope to become. Uh, when, when people ask me, ah, how much of you is there in the character? And I also uh, answer that uh, a lot of my hopes are there. A lot of what I want to be is there because um, a funny story is when I first uh, did Gilda in theater, I was 23, 24 years old. And in my mind, I had to be very slim and fit. So I, I went uh, to the gym and worked out like crazy. I had a diet and I was really thin and my body was all, you know, uh, it was the closest as I could be to what I learned that a desirable woman was. Cut to 18 years later, all I've learned with um, writers and friends and uh, very inspirational women, uh, I'm still learning, I'm still working on myself in that sense. But uh, I think um, the way that she is uh, portrayed now is much more complex, especially because I am learning to be free with my body. So I think it's in this case with Gilda, it's really a combination of um, my my trajectory as an as an actress and with this character, uh, combined with Gustavo's uh, view of uh, of the character, and with the help of the cast, because I I think that uh, we are better seen when we are dealing with others. It's, it's beautiful how uh, to, to read the original text from, from Rodrigo de Huri. Uh, he always says that he, his great inspiration to write Gilda is his mother. And uh, also we grow up uh, uh, watching people like Gilda and that neighborhood uh, that where Gilda lives. So I think that's, uh, uh, something that was always in our minds when we were th thinking about uh, about the idea to bring Gilda for for uh, cinematic uh, possibility, you know. All I have left to say to you is uh, thank you so much, Karin. Uh, you are a true inspiration. And thank you so mm -hmm. much for sharing your thoughts, Gustavo. Thank you for this beautiful, beautiful series. Have a good day. <laughs> you too. Thanks. Thank you.